I'm glad to be at AutoSense and to have finally an opportunity after two long years in the US to see all uh, the people I was emailing with or chatting or uh, talking on the phone. So here is uh, finally a good opportunity to meet them in person and uh, have a more social uh, interaction with them. So I'm glad uh, that AutoSense is back. Ooh, we had uh, a very busy year, despite uh, the COVID was uh, still uh, present and uh, somehow felt. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, many things happen. I will, uh, if I have to think back, uh, last September we had the launch of uh, our off-the-shelf uh, true solid state uh, unit. Um, and since then we had a lot of requests from our customers. So uh, we have been very busy delivering a system, making training and implementing application. I would say that I'm proud that uh, um, you hear a lot about uh, solid state, true solid state uh, LiDAR companies. Uh, we are delivering today to our customer solid state unit and systems. Uh, we are proud to be true solid state, so without even uh, a MEMS or any moving parts. Um, and this is the, the main, the main uh, differentiator, but not the only one. Um, thanks to our technology, uh, we can operate in global shutter. So we collect uh, thousands of lasers, we send thousands of lasers at the same time, uh, and uh, um, the global shutter feature enable uh, SLAM uh, application to be more accurate. So this is one other differentiator, plus uh, we collect not only the point cloud, but also the 2D image inherently fused. We offer to uh, software and um, software developers and uh, sensor fusion developers the possibility to have a camera and point cloud inherently fused that they can use to integrate their system. And finally, uh, our LiDAR provide also as output the reflectivity or intensity. And we are using this uh, feature to develop uh, AI uh, that we call 4D AI. Yeah, the 4D AI. 4D AI, uh, so, um, Let's start with uh, uh, understanding what is 2D, 3D, and 4D AI. 2D is what is normally used in a, in a camera uh, neural network, so just using the 2D image. LiDAR system can use uh, the uh, geometry of, uh, uh, of the environment, uh, and so they use a 3D approach, 3D AI. What we do is that uh, we use uh, uh, a combination of uh, intensity uh, that allow us to recognize shapes and features of, uh, of the targets with the geometry of the targets. So we use three uh, X, Y, Z for the, for the special uh, neural network plus intensity, so four dimensions for the AI. What results is that we take uh, all the benefits of uh, the LiDAR, so we can operate also during night time we can see, detect, and classify objects independently from the light condition. Uh, plus, uh, we achieve this result with a very shallow neural network. We can run this neural network inside our sensor without a heavy computational uh, power need. Yes, uh, the development of uh, the 4D AI is uh, only one uh, of, of the many. Um, other examples are with a rule-based approach, so still using like smart uh, algorithm, but uh, without the use of neural network that require a lot of time and investment in uh, training. So with uh, the rule-based approach, we are developing uh, free space detection uh, with other customers, uh, detection of uh, um, uh, road, uh, road markings uh, and uh, also 
for uh, uh, road comfort and quality, the detection and classification of road distresses. This is all together to offer a full suite of application um, that covers from uh, advanced ADAS in object detection and uh, classification to more uh, ride comfort and safety. We are hearing more and more uh, from the market the request for uh, true solid state. So there is a specific focus and, uh, uh, of the industry, automotive, but not only, only in smart, also in uh, smart cities and industrial uh, automation. There is a specific uh, attention and research in the solid state area. So, uh, we understand that uh, this, uh, this value to reduce number of components, increase reliability uh, is uh, really uh, felt from the end user and we are glad to be here with uh, a product that they can already uh, use and uh, integrate in their system.